I'm still amazed that, that it can do what it can do. This is going to be a game changer in manufacturing. Because it's built in layers, it's, it's limitless. It's opening conventional constraints on design. I always start with a description of the technology as being um, the ability to take what's in your imagination and put it in your hands. And that's really uh, what additive manufacturing and 3D printing can do. The first time I saw it was just amazing uh, because I couldn't believe that anything like 3D printing existed. The cool thing about it is it's a layer by layer additive process and you can do very, very complex geometries that you can't do in, in, in traditional manufacturing techniques. In the old traditional ways, people had to design not only for functionality, but how were we gonna manufacture it? Now with 3D printing, you don't have those constraints. You just kind of design your part to fit in the space it needs to be in. Uh, it allows you to make shapes that you couldn't get a tool like a mill or like a laser cutter inside of a geometry, stuff that is just not manufacturable any other way. It's finally come into its own and it's a mature manufacturing process at this point. So a customer will provide us a CAD file, a lot of times drawings, we prefer CAD files so that we can actually pull their file into one of our uh, tools and, and look at the, the virtual image of it and analyze it for its design to see if it's, it's right for the process. And then we can advise the customer if they need to make any design changes or uh, if it can be built as is. And then we integrate that CAD file to create two-dimensional slices. Those two-dimensional slices are what's going to be used as primitives to make the object, the solid object. Then that creates a tool path that's sent to the machine. And once that tool path is finished on that layer, the table indexes down and the next layer builds, and that's the additive process. And so your part grows from uh, nothing into a full uh, 3D geometry. Having the full suite of 3D printing technologies in, under one roof is really an advantage to both our cu customers as well uh, as a service provider. One of the great things about these processes and about 3D printing in general, it's not just limited to one type of industry. Every single type of industry can, can, can really benefit from, from 3D printing. Additive manufacturing is really allowing companies and customers and people to get to market faster than they've ever gotten before. We can do things, you know, in sometimes a fifth, a sixth, you know, a tenth of the time that it would take them in traditional manufacturing methods. And so you're able to get to the market extremely fast and fast to market wins. People are really testing the waters. We don't know what, what we can't do with this yet, but you know, 10, 15 years from now, what are we going to be able to do with these types of devices as far as making machines that can replicate food or replicate body parts or replicate any type of device that you need for whatever it is you're trying to fix or work on or, or accomplish. Our customers are always finding new ways of utilizing 3D printing. Um, and there, there just doesn't seem to be an end in sight.